Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to repair a broken Western Digital My Passport hard drive. This picture shows a Western Digital portable hard drive with a broken USB port. Because the USB port is the only part which is exposed outside without any protection. Every time you use the drive, you have to plug and unplug it. So, damaging the USB port is very common in portable hard drives. There are two solutions to fix the problem. One, replace the USB socket. Two, swap the whole PCB board. Replacing the USB socket is easy. You can find an identical USB socket and do some soldering and desoldering on the PCB board. Then can fix the problem. The second solution is to swap the whole PCB board. The rest of this video is going to talk about this in detail. Talking about how to swap the hard drive PCB board, we have two things have to think about. First, how to find the correct donor PCB board. Two, how to make the donor PCB board work with the original hard drive. We are going to use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to search for the donor board. We are going to use the hard drive PCB board format transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. This picture shows where to find the hard drive model number. This is the PCB board number which is used to look for donor board to swap the board. You may go to hdd-parts.com, input the hard drive model number and the PCB board number, then click on go. The correct donor board is found. After finding the donor PCB board, we continue to talk about how to do the PCB board from a transfer to make the hard drive work. This picture shows how the PCB board from a transfer works. On the left hand side is the bed board. On the right hand side is the donor board. From a transfer means transfer the board firmware in the memory chip from one board to another board. For this PCB board, the firmware in the two memory chips in the red circle, like the picture shows. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture 
illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCB board to us to do firmware transfer. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.